My name's Nicholas Hill. This is the Music Faucet. Coming up in just a few scant seconds, we have the music live in the studio for, of Downey Mildew. Downey, hailing, Downey Mildew hailing from uh, California. Had several albums on Texas Hotel and now have a new one, uh, which you will probably hear excerpts from. Before I continue to natter on, I'd like to introduce Downey Mildew. Everything that gave her pleasure was small. Depressed him deeply Still you pulled up with the apple pie And sometimes welcome them to my surprise We were not like them a dream At least we are not alone with small of those things slip through our hands We're a lot like them that dream We're here and then they're gone It's hard of those things slip through our hands the Figurines and all the things he has no use for About his head, they laugh and whirl and silently steal pieces of his sweet sunny dream. We're a lot like them that dream. At least we're not alone. We're smaller. Downey Milder here, in case you were wondering. Uh, we've not met... Who's it, Ned? <laughs> Nick? Um, we haven't seen him. You haven't seen us. He hasn't seen us. Uh, what should we do next? I'm in Never Never Land. Am I your pleasant host? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> You're waking, coming through the walls or something. Well, greeting. I'll, I'll, meet, I'll meet you on there momentarily. Uh, but uh, um, please. Let's play the uh, uh, 
this one. Okay. Hit single. Welcome to WFMU, Downey Mildew, on mass. Thanks. Are you fully stuffed? <laughs> quite. <laughs> Do we look stuffed? <laughs> no, you actually look quite live <laughs> and in person. Jenny Homer, uh, Charlie Bal- Baldonado, and Salvador Garza are in our studios. They comprise uh, the group Downey Mildew. There are a couple other members. Yeah, we left the rhythm section at home. Mm-hmm. This is the uh, Econo tour. For the entire journey? Uh, we're just on the East Coast for two weeks. Mm-hmm. So. You don't get back to the East Coast very often, though. Or uh, do you? Well, you know, when we put out a record, we usually come out here. Uh-huh. Uh, 
We've been out here about five times. I, I have an admission to make. I uh, I saw some of your very earliest gigs oh. eight years ago at the Anti Club. <laughs> ah, whoa. But that's all I've I haven't seen you since. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was kind of punk rock back then to a certain degree. I, possibly more than this, yes. Yeah. But um, so I ha I have witnessed you, but not since 1986. Downey Mildew are our, our guests in the studios. And since I didn't get to talk to you before the show, I just want to let you know that um, we try and uh, sort of invite you into our living room to play some songs for us and the listeners. And so I'm encouraging you to feel as comfortable as possible and enjoy your performance. I, I feel pretty comfortable. Oh, good. Sounds like the... the, uh, the uh, captain of the ship or something just kind of sit back and enjoy your flight just sit back and enjoy your flight but while you're while you're with us play us some tunes do some work <laughs> this is, this is kind of this looks a lot like the uh, the room we recorded our first record in it was in a house in los angeles yeah Earl so Mankey's the house. fireplace worked uh -huh. hey don't knock our fireplace <laughs> it's a beautiful fireplace. so earl earl Mankey produced your first album he, he engineered it mm -hmm. and Made suggestions. What's his history? He um, he worked for the Beach Boys. Okay, That's and he was in uh, he was in Sparks. Sparks, the band, right? You know that that band, that band. Yeah, yeah. And the, he was very, at, the, at the very beginning. He was in it, and uh, so was his brother Jim, who was mm -hmm. in Concrete Blonde. But Earl's uh, an engineer extraordinaire, and he set up a studio in his house. And uh, after working for the Beach Boys, kind of went out on his own. He he has Dennis Wilson's motorcycle in his garage. <laughs> Does he keep it in his garage and never ride it? Well, it just, uh, last time I was there, it was, uh, it was shortly after Dennis had died, and uh, his motorcycle was still in Earl's garage. Mm. It's kind of strange. We're here with Downey Mildew, and you all are performing The Knitting Factory this Tuesday night. Correct. Um, what time are you going on, do you know? Uh, I have a clue. I'm not sure. Maybe five and 12. Probably early, I would imagine. Sometime between five and 12. I think, between five and 12. Bill, I think so. we're in the middle. There's two other groups as well, right? Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. Okay. But meanwhile, the Knitting Factory this Tuesday night, Downey Mildew will be appearing. And they're appearing in your radio right now. All right. Um, I remember yesterday. Well, I remember yesterday. Well, I can still hear you say. If only you would wear this ring. Then you could truly sing And be free Of everything that wasn't me Make it happen naturally Straight from the heart of me There's nothing I wouldn't let you see mm -hmm. That mockingbird that sings all night some people wouldn't think that's right They'd kill him in the middle of his song As if to sing was wrong mm -hmm. Call me when you catch your breath I know you're not afraid of death There's so many things you'll see With or without me Cause it's only what you have to bring That keeps me holding this string That seems to be tied To the very threads of my life 
illuminated by your light and everything we didn't say waited on yesterday
very fine, pretty sounds coming from the production studio, our palatial studios here at WFMU, the music of Downey Mildew, who hail from Los Angeles. Yes. Not Downey. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is Downey Mildew? It's just a state of mind? It's a plant disease. It is? Mm-hmm. I should have asked my wife. Was she a plant pathologist? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> you don't know? Something like that. What is your wife? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's a plant pathologist. And I, I'd like to briefly uh, sidestep this entire program and wish all the mothers out there in Radio Land a happy Mother's Day or something similar. We ate roasted garlic for you all. <laughs> <laughs> At Mama Lucia's. To keep away evil spirits. Yeah, clean the blood, uh, make you strong. Jenny Homer, Charlie Baldano are the songwriters of this combo. Is that you? Do you write together, separately? Sometimes, mostly separately, but mm-hmm. sometimes together. You know each other very well, though. We've known each other for a while. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to write together anymore. It's just kind of telepathy at this point. Mm-hmm. And Salvador Garza is playing the violin. Finally. Where do you play in Los Angeles when you're home? What what sort of venues are out there these days? Yeah, the Troub. The Troubadour? The Troubadour. <laughs> a place called Luna Park. In, in 1986, when I first saw you guys, when you were a considerably different combo, um, the Troubadour was a heavy metal club. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> And now it's it's sort of gone the uh, full circle and gone back to being more of a showcase room and folk room and that kind of thing. Yeah. Which is what it was in the 60s way back when, and it's heyday. Mm-hmm. Is it seeking out a heyday? Uh, I don't know. It's just hard to say what's happening these days. But you enjoy playing at the Troubadour? Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a nice club. Mm-hmm. Downy Mildew, our our guests in the studio and their new album which is your fourth album is that it yeah it's the fourth album fourth full album and it's on high street records which is a part of windham hill uh it the album is entitled slow sky and for your listening pleasure it is in record stores purchasable absolutely as as is our whole catalog which uh, High Street has reissued all the early records on yeah. Texas Hotel. Yeah, it was no longer available. I don't. I mean, it, really, it never came out on compact disc. Texas Hotel doesn't really exist as a record company, does it? <laughs> it's I don't know. It's the transitory nature of the record <laughs> industry. <you know? laughs> it seems it seems kind of quiet. I mean, it seems like it keeps sort of putting things out, but then doesn't really do anything with them. Yeah, I, don't, I think Vic Chestnut. Is out in Texas Hotel. Mm-hmm. But try and find his record in a store. Yeah. So. Here I am slagging your ex record company. I don't <laughs> well, mean. It's, do just, it. it's sort of the independent thing, you know. Hmm. They have good intentions. But yeah. You know. Everyone has good intentions, but. <laughs> well, you know, we'll do a, an old song here from our first album. It's called. The album was called Broom Tree. This song was called The Kitchen. And it. it um, it was successful to a certain degree. Play us some tunes. You ready? Really than the real standing in a broken room of broken people since they have forgotten. I've written on their faces I see you in the kitchen I try to stop from laughing I don't believe in spirits Your face is like the sunlight You could never lie I don't believe in spirits I try to stop from laughing I don't believe in spirits I don't believe in future Things they say about you Muffling cries and pillows They give a thousand reasons None of them are funny 
none of them are reasons for you to leave forever i see you in the garden your face is like the sunlight you could never lie i don't believe in spirits i try to stop laughing i don't believe in machine and your face in twilight gleam and i thought about all you said that night and from my eyes the tears just stream the magician had you in his clutches then he raised his hand and all the time between you and i fell through his fingers like sand you followed him up the mountain up in the sky but it's a long 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 way down you learn your way around but i love what i
My own house feels just like a hotel No permanence, only space And this waterfall is my dissolving face If eternity lives in your hair Then I'll lose myself there And be carried away at the end of the day Into the diaphanous air And follow me down Both reach up for the sky But it's a long, long, long way down You learn your way around But I love what I of Downy Mildew being performed live in our studios here this evening. Thought I had that uh, desire thing going there. <laughs> the violin screaming through every song. Your, your very own Scarlett Rivera. Yeah, there you go. She's, <laughs> she's the greatest. Whatever happened to her? I don't know. She put out one album for Columbia and went home. Oh, yeah? Evidently. I haven't heard much from her. Downy Mildew are appearing this Tuesday night uh, at the Knitting Factory with Oren Blodo and uh, the Cocktails. Oh, yeah, okay. That's right. That's it. Uh, something I just managed to find out just sitting here. It required a little bit of research, but it was uh, <coughs> for the listener's illumination. I saw you on the telephone. I thought maybe you were calling your mother. Mm, I ought to be. I haven't been able to get a hold of her. She disappeared to Los Angeles, and I don't know where she is. How, how did you happen to be at the Ansi Club in, what was it, 86 or something? Well, I spent a lost year in Los Angeles in 1986 uh -huh. managing a rock and roll combo uh -huh. called the Dream Syndicate. And it was, uh, so I knew your old bassist. Nancy. Nancy. Nancy who's you, look you do look familiar. I've met you before. We've probably met yeah. in the past. But um, what's your what's your full name? Nicholas Hill. Okay, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I mean, anyway, I, Nancy. I can hear Nancy uh, Nancy saying Nicholas. Okay. Your old bass player has gone off to motherhood. I understand. Yeah. She. Uh, we took the baby on tour. Uh, when was it? In '92. But it wasn't to be repeated. No, she. She. You know. Decided she'd sit it out for a while. Mm -hmm. Although it was great going to, you know, record labels and, and in-stores and all sort of thing. Because even if the people didn't care about the band, they loved the baby. You know? Speaking of in-stores, you're playing at a record store tomorrow. Which one? Where? When? NASDAQ or something like that. Or uh, J&R's. J&R. In the Wa at Wall Street area. Uh -huh. J&R is down on Park Row South. And you're playing, what, at 3 o'clock? One o'clock. <laughs> One o'clock. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me say this all over again. Downey Mildew will be appearing tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. at J&R Music World in the record store itself uh, down on Park Row South, which, which if you work downtown or like to shop down there, it would be a pleasant diversion. I, I, saw an in, I went to an in-store there once. I mean, I happened to be in the store, and, there, in was, the house. and there was a performance by Rodney Dangerfield. Uh, it was very peculiar. He had that big, he had that hit. Oh, he actually sang? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Remember that hit he had? I forget what it was. It accompanied some. Anyway, these are some of the people that you have to follow. Uh, that that room has really held some uh, amazing people now. <laughs> really? Well, we'll do the numbers at about one thirty or so. Downey Mildew, from, hailing from Los Angeles, a um, city that I just returned from a couple of days ago. And I have the pleasure of reporting that the record shopping out in Los Angeles is almost as good as the WFMU fundraising record fair coming up. When is it? The 26th of May? No, no, no. 21st and 22nd. 21st and 22nd of May at the Elks Lodge in Hoboken, New Jersey. Um, the record by Maxwell, right? Yeah, a block, a block south of Maxwell's on Washington Street. You can't miss it. There's a big elk 
standing right out front. And inside are, is one of the coolest record fairs around, hosted by this radio station. I am presenting a plug by way of illuminating, illuminating people that if they can't make it to the record fair in Hoboken, they should go to Los Angeles and check out some of the record stores there. <laughs> That's m much cheaper. <laughs> anyway, well, we're taking up valuable time, which you could be plying your wares to the masses with. What do you all want to hear out there? Um, well, Jenny, you should sing another song. Which, what do you want it to be? We could do um, Girls by the Lake. Okay. That sounded that sound kind of set up, but it wasn't. I believe you. Downy Mildew. I lit a thin green candle. No. <laughs> no, the girls stare at them. Bye. 
the sequence of the record, and we're going to the next song. Hey, I didn't hear any tuning on the record. Well, we deleted that far. Okay. No, my, my guitar doesn't do well on the East Coast. It's definitely a West Coast guitar. So. I understand. Senses are driving me crazy All of this just can't be true A liar needs a good memory A memory's all I have to use And our desires are so impatient now They'll eventually run their course And then we'll have to answer for All of the things that we for it's Mother's Day and I'm on my way to the flower store With you by my side and a whole world to explore And you see all the things that you might want to buy You can only pick one no matter how many you want to try And that day I walk back through your door Safe and simple away from the war That eats at your body and messes up your mind On your face were a few more lines Well I know who you are You were once a star You spent all your money and you crashed your car The race can see the two So now she'll tell the all And I'll take you just the way you Remember all the things that I said If some were stupid then let the verdict be read The point of repetition is liberation instead And all of these things they swirl around in my head But really now what difference would it make It's easy to steal but much harder to fake It's being alone that makes you see why I could deceive you but I wouldn't even try well, I know who you are, you were once a star You spent all your money and you crashed your car The race can see for two, so now she'll tell the all And I'll take you just the way you It's a West Coast guitar, all right. Yeah, ouch, huh? It's got a lot of extra strings. <laughs> yeah. Some of them aren't in tune. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Lead Belly never tunes, so I'm not going to tune. Yeah, but Lead Belly's dead. Well, I assume will be. 
<laughs> I keep playing like this. <laughs> a song you just wrote today, then, huh? Absolutely, as you probably caught the reference. Mm -hmm. Shocking behavior. Real spontaneous. Evidently, and you worked out the arrangement in the car on the way over, right? Yeah, sounds like a, <laughs> the sort of a beer slinging, uh, waltzy kind of thing. So you all perform generally with a a full ensemble of electric bass and drums and yeah although we're moving into middle age now and this this acoustic thing is kind of starting to suit us a little better would you use the dreaded word unplugged uh undrugged unplugged all that <laughs> do you all have babies too <laughs> i don't you i got one in the oven one in the oven yeah cool i was thinking about it on this last song she qualifies as a mother now, my wife. Maybe you should think about, you know... <laughs> the song. <laughs> Boy, we you are... can't even play. We are really giving Charlie a hard time here. Go ahead, you know, I can... It's <laughs> yeah. Now, Jenny's turning red, if any of you... Are, <laughs> we only had a monitor here. You can see it. Jenny Homer on vocals. You play guitar when you, when you play with the full ensemble, don't you? Yeah, I do. A loud electric guitar with knobs. Play the lead. Mm -hmm. She's she is the lead guitarist of the band. And where's your guitar today? Well, uh, I don't know. You left it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was playing guitar for a while, but it, it got too stressful, so we, we just we just sing backup vocals. <laughs> oh boy. You, are you too long on the road already? And it's only been a few days. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You know. <laughs> It's, it's been a week, and it seems like a, a month already. I think it was Mama Lucia's. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. If you'd only called us. Oh, it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, I want to remind our listeners out in Radio Land uh, before the end of this program once or twice again that Tuesday night, which by all accounts in my experience is the best night of the week to go out in New York, Avoid Friday and Saturday at all costs. Tuesday being the most ideal evening out in town. At the Knitting Factory, located at 47 East Houston Street in Manhattan, uh, just off Mulberry, in the heart of uh, the island. This ensemble, Downey Mildew, will be appearing with Oren Blodow and the Cocktails. Give a call um, to the club for the schedule. Cocktails hailing from Chicago. Also, uh, well, I believe the cocktails are an entirely instrumental band. Ouch! Sorry. No offense. Let me turn my headphones down. What? Well, that's not in tune? No. I mean... <laughs> You're listening to the Music Faucet here on WFMU, and uh, next week on the Music Faucet, there everyone and their brother wants to play, but we're not going to let them all. Um, we're going to have to make a solid, firm decision, but it's going to be tough, and uh, <laughs> it's a very complicated evening, just like most of them. You're listening to WFMU, Upsell College, East Orange, New Jersey. My name's Nick. Tonight, uh, Irene Trudell has been engineering and doing a fine job, as she often does. Um, <coughs> we came in here about two minutes before we were supposed to start. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. Mama Lucia's, I know the service there. It's pretty bad. Oh, you've been there? No, I haven't. But uh, I can imagine it's Newark. No offense, fellow New Jerseyans. No, it, it's... Oh, but it's... Delicious. Really? Yes. You mean you did enjoy your, your oh, feast? Oh, yes. Oh, good. It was luscious. Downy Mildew. Um, do you find it disturbing to come to New York City ever? Um, Salvador is shaking Salvador, his head. Yes, he lives in a real bucolic pastoral uh, community. Where are you from, Salvador? I'm from Morro Bay, California. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so coming to New York is psychologically upsetting. I must say I, I I found it upsetting when I arrived to New York a few days ago. 
after being gone for some time. You know, we have about nine minutes left in this program. So well, we let's just keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> who, who won the, uh, the Knicks? I have no idea. I, uh, I never knew a ball game. Really? And you were the Dream Syndicate's manager? Yes, but I did not pay ball, play ball with them or pay attention to the ball uh, around them. The ball around them. Well, I guess let's play a song then. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, once again in Radio Land, Downy Mildew. We're caught in a trap. We can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby. You see what you're doing to me when you don't believe a word I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this, this part. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. We can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. And unknown, stop to say hello, but there still was suspicion in your eyes. There you go again. You ask me where I've been. You can't see the tears on me. I'm crying. We can't go on together. With suspicious minds And we can't build our dreams On suspicious minds Don't let our love survive The dry, the tears from your eyes Don't let a good thing die Don't you know I'd never lie Call it a trap We can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby We'll call it a trap We can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby We'll call it a trap we can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby We're caught in a trap We can't walk out Here we go. Because I love you too much, baby Stand back. Downey Mildew has left the building. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Not quite. Um, you can't get out of here that easy. What are the songs do we know? Okay. I lost my little list. Downey Mildew. Once again, I just want to remind people, tomorrow at 1 p.m., J&R Records, uh, the, this combo will be appearing in an in-store. And then uh, Knitting Factory on Tuesday night with Orrin Blodow and The Cocktails. Downy Mildew, their new album, Slow Sky, has just been released on High Street, as, uh, and, and their uh, early Texas Hotel albums were also reissued recently through the very same record company and should all be available in stores. Play us another song, you Okay, I think folks. we're going to do um, an oncoming train after Charlie Tunes' guitar. Okay, fair enough. You want to finally get it get it right. 
for the last song. Yeah, might as well. I'm having a bad night. Oh, nonsense. This is kind of like another song turned inside out. or you know, It's another one of those waltz things. Shed once 